Hi everyone, this is going to be a very short and focused video on four types of cloud deployment model along with some of their variants. Let's start with discussing the basic and the most famous cloud deployment model which is public cloud. Please note that the diagram used here is a repeat of what was shown in the previous video of this very series which was titled Introduction to Cloud Computing. The intent of that video was to introduce cloud computing to you with the help of a how a public cloud looks like. Here I have explained it in terms of deployment model. So in this model the infrastructure is hosted at cloud service providers physical boundaries and can be made available to or basically can be shared by multiple individuals and organizations and hence promotes multi-tenancy. Servers here are shared. This model is more cost effective one. This was a very initial model that was used and it hugely became popular. But for large organizations who had certain data security, data privacy, jurisdiction and other regulatory requirements, it still didn't solve their problems. Now let's move on to discussing private cloud which solve these problem for large organizations. Private cloud is one where an infrastructure is operated exclusively for an organization and is not shared with any other organization. There can be variants to this. First variant is when the servers or machines or infrastructure is hosted within the physical boundaries of an organization for which the cloud is being set up. This is typically the organization's data center. Here, a particular data center or a part of a data center that organization owns can be dedicated for cloud. This variant is popularly known as on-premise or simply on-prem. The next variant to this is where the infrastructure which is to be exclusively hosted and operated for an organization is hosted on cloud service providers physical boundaries. This is known as off-premise. Only one organization will have access to this even though it is on, not on their data center. And finally, in terms of who operates both these type of setups, it can be the organization or the cloud service provider, which could be another two variants. Private cloud did solve the problem of data security and compliance, but it didn't fully utilize the benefits the, that cloud provides. Hence came hybrid cloud, which is now the most popular one amongst large organization and is also the way forward. Simply put, a hybrid cloud is a combination of at least one public cloud and at least one private cloud. Here, private cloud can be on-premise or off-premise. What's shown in the diagram is a hybrid cloud that uses a combination of an on-premise private cloud and a public cloud. So how best can this model work for large organizations? Well, the best way is to use on-premise private cloud to keep applications and data that is core to the business of the organization and which has specific regulatory requirements. On the other hand, applications that are not closer to core business and are generic in nature are good candidates for being hosted at public cloud. Next and final type of deployment model is community cloud. This is a relatively newer and an interesting model. Here, organizations with common requirements and interests share a cloud infrastructure. In terms of hosting and managing this cloud, there could be various combinations. It can be hosted or managed by one organization, combination of organizations or by cloud service provider itself, considering the requirements and use cases. An example of where this type of model can work, and this is just a thought, is KYC. KYC is performed by banks during onboarding of a customer as well as periodically. There is a lot of duplicated efforts and costs that take place during this process. A community cloud can be ideal place in future to share such information across banks. Another example is various government agencies and bodies using this type of model to share data for better governance. In terms of costs, 
this model sits somewhere between a public cloud and a private cloud setup. So that's all we have for today. If you like the video and had a good learning experience, then do check out our other videos. Do like and share. Also subscribe the channel for latest videos and trends in the world of architecture. See you in the next video.